Hello, I'm Tom Tinsley with East Coast Real Estate Group. We are a local property management company proudly serving Frederick, Washington, Berkeley, and Jefferson counties in Maryland and West Virginia. And today, I just want to cover eight tax deductions for real estate investors. And before we dive in, my disclaimer is that you should always consult with your accountant and tax professionals for the most uh, up-to-date legislation and guidance. With that said, let's dive in. First one is mortgage interest. Uh, most of the investors we work with do have a note of some sort, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, but just for an example, if you did have uh, a property that you had a 30 year note on, uh, by the time you pay that off in the 30 years, you would have actually have paid as much interest as you did for the property in principle. That's a very significant number. So um, definitely send that one to your professionals and see how much you can get uh, deducted. Next one, real estate taxes. Nobody likes paying them, but that bill comes you know, pretty much every year in, in most uh, places. So go ahead and pay it, send it on over to your accountants and uh, get the deductions that you deserve. Insurance, there's all kinds of insurance you should have. Uh, that'll be deductions, property insurance, casualty insurance. Even if you have a personal umbrella policy, make sure that property is added to it and then you can get uh, a portion of that most likely uh, will be a deduction as well. Repairs and maintenance, right? Big, big topic here. Um, one of the, the larger expenses uh, of being an investor. The good news is they're all deductible, all repairs will be deducted either in the same year uh, or if it's a capital expense, it'll be amortized over a certain amount of years. Um, so, you know, all of your repairs, including your preventative maintenance and, and landscaping, snow removal, uh, all of that stuff uh, will be a deduction. And as I mentioned, the very important part is, uh, you know, what can be capitalized. There are IRS regulations and thresholds that uh, your accountants and tax professionals are going to know. Uh, so, you know, if you're getting a roof done or an HVAC or, uh, you know, you need a, a whole bunch of appliances, th those are probably not going to be able to be deducted in one year. Uh, they'll be capitalized and amortized uh, and you'll get a little bit of that deduction every year. So uh, they'll help you with that. But it is good news. They're all deductions. Same thing with property management. All property management costs are going to end up being an expense for you. So uh, those leasing fees to get you a tenant, uh, et cetera, your lease renewal fees, the monthly management fees, all of those are deductible. And, you know, for example, if you're paying $100 a month for your property management fee and you're in a 25% tax bracket, then in reality, you're actually paying $75 a month uh, for that service after the, the deduction. Uh, travel, there are lots of regulations and guidance uh, for this, but in general, a portion or all of it can, can be expensed depending on what you're doing. But you know, keep track uh, of your mileage and, and if you're going for showings, inspections, um, you know, whatever reasons that you're at the properties. Um, you know, if it's you know, a couple miles away, it's probably not worth it. But if you're traveling out of state, getting hotels, having to get dinner, all of that kind of stuff, keep all of that and see how much you can get uh, deducted. Utilities, nobody loves paying those, but they come, especially when the property is vacant, uh, you have water bills, gas, electric, uh, those are absolutely deductible uh, and let's make sure you get them. Depreciation is a really big one. What you'll end up with is a depreciation schedule um, this is your probably your largest deduction, so definitely make sure that it's happening and happening correctly uh, with your accountant and tax professional. And then uh, keep in mind, though, uh, when you do sell the property, uh, the IRS is going to look to recapture the depreciation that was deducted. So, uh, you, you, in general, you get a deduction, you know, each year that you own it. When it comes time to sell it, though. Uh, they're going to get that back and it is going to affect your taxes. So um, definitely keep an eye on that. Again, just wanted to spend a few minutes with you. Uh, go over eight tax deductions for real estate investors. 
If you have any questions at any time, uh, feel free to give us a call at East Coast Real Estate Group. We'd love to hear from you and love to help you out. Thank you so much. Have a great day.